she live, I told her bitch is real life I'm as cold enough to cool my cup, yeah, that shit real life Man, we bad talking about the simps, bruh now, if you're new to the channel, bro, as you've seen by the title, man, I got another video with y'all boys. Hold on, 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 hold on. Excuse me, excuse me. Let me do the intro the right way. Yo, man, what are you two down? Back with another video, man. Hold on. Let me say it one more time. Yo, man, what are you two down? Back with another video. So, boom, as you've seen by the title of today's video, bro, this simp bought this girl stuff for Valentine's Day. And then she ghosted him right out there. Now, let's talk about it, bro. Let's talk about it, bro. It happens to... It, okay, cool. It happened to some people. There ain't much you can do about it. But at the same time, if you watch me and you know how I roll, bro, you can still take some accountability in this situation. So, boom. A dude, I, I was live on TikTok or something like that, bro. And if you don't know my TikTok, bro, it's the same as my YouTube channel, TSL Chris, bro. You feel me? Y'all be fucking with me. Some of y'all probably came from my TikTok and some of y'all probably go to my TikTok because it is. You feel me, bro? Boom. If you're not following me, go follow me on there. So I'm live or whatever, bro. I got some folks in there asking me questions. I'm putting them on free game or whatever. I'm just chopping it up. You feel me? Y'all got me on there live talking and shit. So boom. One dude put in the comments, bro. This girl bought me this stuff for Valentine's Day. No, I bought this girl all this stuff for Valentine's Day and she ain't been responding to me since. Let's talk about it, bro. This is a prime example of why I say there's no need for you to be, and he was like, he spent his check on her or whatever. He spent half of his check on her or some shit, and, and that money was important. I'm not, and of course, if the money important, cool. But I'm saying that to say, I'm saying this, bro. Why are you even prioritizing girls? That probably wasn't even your girlfriend. If you didn't bought a bit Valentine gifts, this and that, and that ain't even your girl. Like, bro, what? What, bro? Like, what was the point of it? Because your girl wouldn't ghost you right after you bought her a Valentine. She used you for the gifts and dipped. You asked a random bitch. I want. I really want to know how that situation went. You asked a random girl to be your Valentine. She said yes. Got the gifts up out of you. She didn't give you nothing back, obviously. She, you didn't get anything. And guess what? She got up out of that. That it's a cold world we live in, bro. And I'm not saying oh oh this or that or oh sometimes shit like this don't happen. But I'm saying, bro, the way he played it, you could tell he didn't do it in a play away. He was moving like a simp, bro. Cause why why did you first off buy her this and that and that ain't even your girl? You feel me? Especially if she ghosted right after, bro. She probably was talking to other guys. She probably didn't like you for real. Didn't really have high interest in you. She was like, shit, what can I get up out of them? Now, I'm not saying all girls like that, but I'm saying some of them is. You feel me, bro? And then he was like, he said some more shit like he was texting her and, and, and she keep leaving him on scene type shit. And, 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 bro, like if you do in a situation like where you testing a girl, I don't care what it is. I don't care if y'all broke up or or, or y'all got into an argument or whatever, and they're just constantly not testing you back and you continuously reaching out, you're reaching out, you're reaching out, and they're not testing you back, bro. Stop testing them, bro. Stop testing them, bro. Sometimes you got to tell yourself, bro. All right, bro, I didn't, I didn't test this girl two times. I'm not finna test her no more. Ain't no chasing, we replacing. Okay, I didn't did this. All right, I said I was gonna do this. I ain't finna procrastinate. Let me lock in. Let me lock in on my grind. Let me get right. You feel me, bro? Sometimes you got to actually talk to yourself and check yourself, bro. You got to check yourself sometimes and say, hey, bro, I'm tripping. And in this situation, you was tripping, bro. And you want to have the right folks around you because I bet the people around you probably knew you was finna do some corny shit like that. And if they didn't know, it's probably because you knew you shouldn't have been doing it, so you didn't want to go and tell them. You feel me? But if the people around you knew you was finna do some corny shit like buy a big Valentine's gift that's not your girl, and she didn't get you none, she ghosted you out there, and you still reaching out to her, it's one of two things. The people around you not real, or you didn't want to tell them because you knew you was doing some lame, corny stuff. You feel me, bro? So, like, bro, you gotta, like, stuff like this is unacceptable, bro. Stuff like this is unacceptable. Why are you making a girl your Valentine that's not your girl, bro? Like, bro, and then, like, yeah, like you said, bro, especially if that money was important or whatever, bro, why are you even focused on the Valentine right now? You ain't even got enough bread to be worried about that right now, bro. You need to be locked in on your grind. I'm not saying on no, on no spot, kind of like saying, oh, this or oh, that, you ain't got no bread. I'm not saying it like that. I'm saying it to real life, open niggas' eyes, bro. A lot of y'all niggas be taking girls on dates. Be spending, doing this, paying for this, paying for that, doing this, doing that. And, bro, y'all ain't even really at that position right now, bro. That ain't even the spot for y'all niggas, bro. Don't you understand, bro? If you a real nigga, bro, a girl's will pay for this for you, will pay for that for you. Now, I'm not saying it's not wrong with doing nothing sweet or nice for a girl if you genuinely want to. But feeling like you have to do this to get girls or or you have to do that for her to like you or this or that because you are the dude in the relationship. Woo -woo. Bro, stop all that, bro. That's how you going to go broke. You going to go broke spending every dime on a bitch that don't even like you for real. She going to milk you for what you got. Go on by her day. Exactly like that girl did, bruh. And that's the type of guy you don't want to be. You don't want to be so easily spending your bread on girls. 
you doing this, doing that, nigga. You need to be focused on getting bread. You need to be focused on locking in, on actually taking off and, and doing something with yourself. You feel me? Going aiming for the stars, bro. And the girl's just gonna come along, bro. You don't ever need to say, hmm, what can I get her for Valentine's Day? What can I do for her? This, that. Nigga, that ain't so priority. You keep prioritizing the girls, bro. That'd be the problem. I be mean, literally telling niggas this shit almost every video. Stop prioritizing the girls and prioritize yourself. You will never lose a girl doing self-improvement, but you will lose a lot of self-improvement trying to chase a girl. Now, I'm not one of them niggas that's saying, oh, you got to be in the gym, do this, do that. I'm just saying get yourself right, bro. Stop looking like a goofy all the time, bro. So these be the type of niggas y'all niggas need to learn from, bro. These the type of niggas y'all niggas need to learn from. These the type of niggas y'all niggas need to not aim to be like. You feel me, bro? That's why I be telling y'all a lot of game on these YouTube channels, putting y'all niggas on a lot of game of how to actually figure out girls that actually like you. How to stop dealing with girls that don't really fuck with you for real, that that's using you and shit. Like, bro, I don't even come across that type of shit. Because of the man I am, bro. And this is the real game. This is what we getting at, bro. You are you attract the type of shit the man you are. You're tolerating too much bullshit. She didn't probably get you a thousand red flags. Let me hold on, let me stretch out. Damn, bro. I feel like I'm looking like a banana up in here, bro. Whoa, let me shut up straight, man. And if you watching any motherfucking video, bro, make sure you send them straight. Don't have your back like no banana, bro. Shut up straight, bro. Man, I'm tweaking. So boom, I don't even come across stuff like this, bro, because you 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 attract the type of shit with the nigga you is. If you uh, tolerate a lot of bullshit and you let a lot of shit slide, I bet she showed you a hundred red flags, a thousand red flags, and you still let every one of them slide. Cause you ain't really focused on it. Cause you was too focused on trying to on the outcome. I want her to be my girl. I actually like her. Oh this, oh that. Stop ignoring the red flags. And the moment you stop ignoring the red flags, bro, you're going to peep shit way earlier. You feel me? And then you're going to be the type of man that she knows she can't even get over on a nigga like you like that. She know you ain't even finna make her your Valentine's in a week. You ain't been finna buy her this and buy her that. And y'all just start talking. And, and she ain't really gave you no reason why, why she feel that she's deserving of that or whatever. She deserves that or whatever, bro. And she, you feel me, bro? So I'm saying, bro, you come across a lot of shit like this because of the nigga you is. Another nigga would have, the same girl that you felt like you had to do that for, another nigga would have got. Well, a lot of shit from her on Valentine's Day, and he probably would have got her something nice, too, if he wanted to. Or shit, he didn't even have to do that. Because, bro, it's the type of man you is, bro. You got to stop being that man that, that's, that's, that's a pushover, bro. Let me just think I be wanting a lot of y'all to know. Now, I'm not saying you got to be OD, aggressive, and out of control and shit, acting like you this tough. But I'm saying, bro, when you are just a real man that stand on his morals and prioritize himself and prioritize the shit that need to be done instead of focusing on the girls so much, bro, I'm telling you, bro, shit going shit to gonna, shit gonna be a lot more smooth. That's why I be pressing this shit so much to y'all, bro. Stop focusing on the girls, bro. Because when you focus on girls, you look like dudes like this all day. You think niggas at the top who actually got bread, your favorite rapper, your favorite YouTuber, whatever, you think they focused on girls? No, you looking at them like they got all the girls this day. You think they focused on them? No, that's not their main priority. Their main priority is doing what they need to do, making the music, making content, make, making sure the brand look good. And the girls just naturally come along with that. Don't focus on the girls. Don't get the girls. Don't focus on getting the girls. The girls going to try to get you when you really locked in and focused on yourself, bro. You feel me, bro? So this is just another example of a simp, the guy that you don't want to be like, bro. You feel me, bro? This is just another prime example of shit I be telling y'all, bro. Now, now look, y'all let me know what y'all want to see next. Y'all let me know if y'all want more content like this. Y'all get more active with me in the comments. Let me know if y'all want more content like this. If y'all want more vlogs. If y'all want uh, free game vids. If y'all want, well, y'all let me know whatever type of content y'all want, bro. If I dropped it before and if I didn't. You feel me, bro? And if you're new to the channel, bro, all I ask you to do is like the video, bro, and go check out another video. I ain't gonna ask you to subscribe or nothing, bro. And if you know somebody like this, send it to them, bro. But I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe or nothing, bro. All I do, all I want you to do is go check out another video. If you subscribe, I want that shit to be naturally. And I want that shit to feel real. You feel me? And let that shit be organic and real. You feel me? Natural and shit. Simple as that. That's all I got for y'all today. I appreciate you if you tapped in and watch the video all the way through. I'm gonna catch y'all boys next time on the road to 13K. We're gonna hit it real soon. We're gonna talk about it. We're just gonna do it. I'm gonna catch y'all boys next time. TSL on top. Hey! You know what I'm saying? Simple as that.